Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aurora Mercury. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. In today's video, I check out Pocono Ski Resort where I had so much fun skiing and exploring. It was just a really nice getaway in Second Life. So let's go. So guys, I'm really excited to go on this SL vacay. I haven't been on vacay in real life in a hot minute now. So for me to go away in Second Life is like, you know, the next best thing for me. <laughs> and I really like the role playing aspect of it as well. As you can see, I'm all dressed nice and cozy. My bag is packed and I've got my cute Lady Angelica puppy who's rolling with me. So yeah, <laughs> I actually can't wait. How I found this resort is through Facebook. They do have a Facebook page. It's by High Life Destination. So you can actually find their page here. I'll link it in the description below. Um, on their Facebook page, you can see other past travelers that have um, checked into the resort as well you can see the photos that they've posted and you can also have access to their website through here as well where you can get information about the different activities that take place you can actually book your room here as well there's also really good frequently asked questions what I really liked about this website as well I was wondering if I could check in early because I'm based in UK and I know that the creators are based in US and I was able to do that. So don't feel that because you are based outside of US that you can't experience the role playing aspect of this as well. They will accommodate for you if they can. So yeah, I would definitely recommend you to go into that Facebook page and well, you know what, I will link it down below. So right about now, I'm waiting for my taxi to take me to the airport and then I'm going to fly into New York and then, yeah, head over to the resort. So let's go. So after a long seven hour flight, guys, I am tired, <laughs> but I've landed safely and I've arrived at Connors Ski Resort, which I am very excited about. I'm here greeted by Ty as soon as I landed and arrived by my driver picked me up from the airport and drove me to the location. And as soon as the car arrived, um, I had Ty waiting outside to greet me, which was really cool. A really nice way to kind of get that welcoming greet as well. So let's go and check in. So we have a hunting area where you can actually go and, and hunt animals. It's, it's a fun game where you can play alone or you can play with, you know, guests or family members or friends. So what happens is you go upstairs to that area. You um, we, we provide free guns. You buy it for zero L's. You choose the gun of your choice. I think we provide three for you. Also, the same type of guns, if you ever went zombie hunting in SL, you can use yes. those guns as well. Okay. Um, so just think of it as the zombie, except for these are animals that's jumping up They're in the wild. You're collecting the points by, you know, killing them, but it's <laughs> killing them. I hate to say it, but you're killing <laughs> them and you're collecting a caucus, caucuses, and then you're also collecting points. How do you keep your points? There is going to be a tree stomp. There's a red disc that you press and you basically, you know, log in into the game. And you just keep going until you're tired, but it is a lot of fun and everyone seems to love it. Also, what we have up there is horseback riding, so you can grab your horse, rest the horse of your choice, and kind of go around and look up in a wooded area. And we also have archery. So if that's a thing, your skill of archery, you could definitely play that up there as well. All right, so that's one of the things that you can do on this sim. We have the icy kayak. The creek is not frozen yet, so you can grab your kayak, grab your oar, and go around for a really beautiful experience. I would say get the best one light that you, that you would love and definitely go around the creek. I absolutely love one of my favorite things to do here. So let me know how you like it. We have a, Christ um, a Christmas lane for the holidays. Um, it's cute for photos. You can go get a uh, hot cocoa, chocolates and cookies over there. You can uh, be Santa by sitting in Santa's chair while he's away. Um, there's other little rides and stuff that's over there. So definitely check out Christmas Lane. Of course, you have the check-in office here if you want to come back and get footage or take a photo that you checked in and taste of, you know, we have a cooking class, taste of taste buds and you can go there and just kind of peek around you don't need to have a, a cooking class schedule but you can go in there and look around you're not off limits to anywhere except for other cabins of course all right um some east if you click that that's where you're going to find the ice bumper game you're going to find the slopes 
You have the mountain where you can go get skis, which we provide for you. But of course, if you have your own, you can definitely, you know, wear your own. We have sledding, snowboarding. We have the hot air balloon tour. We have a gazebo where you can sit and get drinks and sit by the fire. It's really beautiful. So all of these things will just basically take you to those areas whenever you like to go. And that's basically how the HUD works. I would suggest once you do get into your cabin to make a landmark, only because if you're away and you want to try to teleport using this HUD, if that sim does not have the experience that, that's needed, which I think is the void experience, it will not work. So just right. you know, make a landmark so it can have a direct uh, TPN to that. But other than that, this is your HUD. We try to make it where it's not, you know, giving you so many no cards and so many, you know, different land landmarks and stuff like that. Try to keep keep it clean and yeah. compact for you. Nice. All really right. Good. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, all right. So I have that. I'm getting your. Can someone? I'm getting your time schedule. Hold on one moment. Let's do it. A spa solo. Let's see what time it is right now. Yes, yeah, so it's about an hour. Of course, you know, on this one, we have the ice skating ring as well, which we provide free skates. If you don't own, just buy for zero L's and you're going to see a sign that says free skates. Um, we have movers for both single and couples. We have a nice stream that's going for you as well. And there's also some sitting areas there that you can have snacks and kind of just relax. All right. I got someone for you. Thank you. I'll book it now. All right. We got your spot. It's going to be booked. For you and I'm excited about that. Do I need so what to? You can do, uh -huh. Do I need to be dressed a certain way for the spa? Do I need to get dressed in bikini? Yeah, or? yeah they'll normally tell you that, but normally they'll say you can wear a robe or if you want to wear, you know, bikini. Now, what I want to do is make sure you have a place at least to do that. Let's look and see what I can do for you. Yeah, she will give you that in, in those instructions. Tree, who do I have? Let me look. I might have a place for you okay. temporarily okay. to change, okay? Just because I know I have, we have something called the VIP program here. And what that means is you can buy into the VIP. It's a one-time fee for each resort that we do. And that gives you access to come and go as you like. If we have unbooked room for the night, we'll send out a message in the group. We have a free room and they can just snatch it up. So basically whoever snatches it first, We'll get that room. Also, okay. special events and things like that, they do not have to pay for. They get first uh, priority over, uh, you know, the regular people and things like right. that. Yeah. Um, we're doing we're doing shows here as well. We had a really nice Christmas show, which we have two more coming up. It is free to the grid. So once those shows are being like at that time, I, I believe the next one is going to be Saturday is Samina. Um, but like that, things like that and dinners that we have or maybe special things, the VIPs get to, you know, they don't have to pay for that. So it's cool. But I tell you all that because I did have a room open last night. It was the Redwood. So I'm going to give you that temporarily because I know they're not on, the ones who did grab it. So I'm going to go ahead and give you that. So at least if you have a space. And if I do pop, if they do happen to pop on, I will let, let them know. So at 3 o'clock, um, I will um, message you once I change the room over, make sure that nothing is left, you know, do a cleaning, change the sheets and all that. And then I'll let you know it's okay to teleport over to exactly. your room. All right, but for now, you can definitely go to the Redwood and uh, get ready for your spa. So now that I've checked into the Redwood cabin, and as Ty mentioned, it is a temporary accommodation until my one is ready, which is at 3 p.m. SLT. So I'm just gonna chill out for a bit, and then I'm gonna go to the spa, and then probably after the spa treatment, then my my um, cabin will be ready. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys around so you can see what it looks like inside, but it's so nice and cozy, I love it. So I received notification from the reception that told me that my spa treatment was ready. So I headed over to Adagio Spa where I met up with Astoria who showed me around the spa and also guided me towards the sauna area where I got changed into my bikini. And then yeah, I chilled in the sauna for maybe about 10 minutes. 
Um, and then after that, Astoria directed me towards like the jacuzzi where I had like beautiful views of the Alps. And it was just so nice and relaxing in there. Like when you look at the decor, everything is very zen. So it's very relaxing. And yeah, like you just don't wanna leave. <laughs> um, after that, I then headed to get my hot stone massage. And yeah, like that was just very relaxing as well. And it's just really cool just to role play the whole element of it as well. I was really impressed in the fact of how patient Astoria was with me because like you know when you're role playing on Second Life or like these type of experiences like you need to be interactive you need to be responding quickly to let everything flow it's like a conversation and obviously for me I was busy recording trying to move around, trying to reply back to her. So yeah, a lot was going on at the same time. So yeah, shout out to Astoria for being so patient with me. <laughs> um, after that, I got changed into my casual clothes and then headed back to my um, cabin. So today is day one. And as you can see, I am dressed for the day. I'm dressed for the weather as well. So I've got my nice fit on. I've got my, my big chunky boots as well. So I can just stay nice and warm and just wear the right attire to go skiing. Um, I'm gonna choose the location to go to. So I'm gonna select it from the HUD. So I'm gonna get the lift to the mountain slopes. So once the HUD TPs you to the mountain slopes, here you will see the lift that will take you all the way to the top. So look at that, it's pretty cool how they actually created this. So I'm gonna take the lift up to the second floor and just look at the views, like it just looks so cool. And then once I get to the top from here, then I'll just walk across the bridge and walk towards the slope area. So once you get to the end, there's like a little seating area and just like a, I'll probably say it's a good location to take photos here as well. Um, and here you can also get um, your skis. I chose a snowboard and then, yeah, I was just off. I have to admit, like at first it was really difficult to kind of navigate the snowboard going down the, the slopes. Um, I was crashing into the walls and everything. Um, but then after a while, I just kind of got it a bit. So yeah, I just enjoyed the ride all the way down. It was really cool. Once I got to the bottom, I just kind of was like looking around at the at the area in front of me. So there was like a ice skating rink and I just thought I'd just play with some wind lights as well. And I actually wish I decided on this wind light because I took some really cool photos as well using it so yeah it was really cool so it's a really good location to take photos as well and here is how the ice skating rink looks with this wind light i can't remember what the the name of the wind light is but um yeah just play around and you'll be able to find some really cool one to take pictures it looks so pretty So today is day two um, of my stay at Pekoniski Resort and this is my final day here so I'm going to try and do as much as I can. So today I'm going paragliding, I just felt like I just needed to kind of just run through the skies, glide through the skies and just check out the resort in like you know from this view which is really cool as well because you can see different parts of it. So that was just really nice and peaceful. I also had fun with these like bumper car rings that's on ice. <laughs> so obviously if there was more of you, then you would have a lot more fun doing this as well. Um, and then afterwards as well, I did a hot air balloon ride and that was like another tour through, through the skies and checking out the scenery of the resort, which is really nice as well. Cause it takes you like a full circle around the resort. 
So yeah, it's a really nice way to kind of tour. So yeah, you can do this alone or do this as a couple or with family. I'm sure you guys will have fun just touring the resort this way. They also have cooking classes as well. And from my understanding that they do use a role playing HUD for this as well. It's called Taste Buds Cooking Class. So you can do this with your family and friends as well, which is really a cool touch. I also did a bit of hunting as well, but the footage for that didn't come out that good. So yeah, I'm not posting that one, but I ended my trip here doing a kayaking around the, the resort as well. So I jumped into a kayak and just kind of kayaked around the resort, which is really nice. And again, just really nice views. You can see different parts that has been decorated and really see the detail that they've put into this resort as well, which is really cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video, my vlog of me staying at Pocono Ski Resort. I had such a fun time and really a shout out to the creators for putting together this role playing experience resort and just allowing us to have these experiences in Second Life because I think it's really cool. If you like this video guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But until next time guys, take care. Bye.